Hi Lawrence, thanks for joining us. We'll get on to Warren in a minute, but I just want to touch on your international career to start off with. So, I know you're eligible for England and Jamaica too, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. Why did you choose to represent Chile? Is that always something? Uh, yeah, it was It was always something, you know, with my with my dad, he's from Chile, obviously born there. It was uh, something to make him proud, you know, like, obviously he come here, met my mum and that, and then, you know, I always felt Chile as a kid growing up, so watching them in the World Cup in 98 and stuff like that. So yeah, it was just always a dream of his, and of course a dream of mine, you know, obviously. It was, he wouldn't have forced me to do it, but you know, I always felt Chilean. Yeah, and you were named in the Chile squad for the first time in September 2018, alongside the likes of Arturo Vidal and Gary Medell. How proud a moment was that for you? Yeah, it was a proud moment for me, for my family. You know, it was something that you know we all dreamed about. We never thought it would happen. You know, playing in League Two to get that call, and you know, it was it was, a, it was a, yeah, you're right. It's a dream come true, you know, for us because you know you put a lot of sacrifice in your work and in your football and in everything. And then to get that, you know, it's, it's something that you, you can't really imagine, especially with the level I was playing. So, you know, it was, it was a good experience as well going out there. We went to Japan, went to Korea, you know, it was, it was a really good experience. And obviously you moved to play out there last summer. How was that experience for you? Yeah, it was tough because I went there, I was expecting to play, you know, with all the conversations I had before. But, um, you know, things don't always work out, you know, when you go somewhere in the middle of the season. Uh, it's, it's difficult, you know, they're already fit and I was just coming off of our season here so I had a month off so I was playing catch up from the day from the day from day one I was there and obviously the goalkeeper was doing really well and sometimes you just have to be patient and you know it was it was tough towards the end because obviously there was no game so just gotta just gotta keep training hard and grafting and that was the thing that I was doing. Yeah and the all right and saying the league was cancelled due to anti government protests. Yeah yeah, yeah it was really bad if I started in October I think the end of October uh Games would just get called off every week. They tried to start the league again and again, but the people they weren't having it because you know what they was protesting for. Uh, to be fair, in some contexts, I agree with it because you know, like they're raising prices of of train fares. But like, it's not a lot. It's not a lot in our money. Probably like thirty p. But like for someone that works five days a week, Monday to Friday, and he gets the train to work, it's thirty five or forty percent of his monthly wage if he's on minimum wage. So I think I think they have a right to complain. So uh, maybe. They could have gone about it different, but then I think the government don't listen if you go about it different. So it's sad for the people, of course, because you know, like they, they are they're still protesting now. So every time I check, you know, I watch the news there, they're still protesting. So I hope that something can get resolved in that sense. You know, I think because you know I have family there as well, loads of family, and they're not rich either. So you know, they they are part of the protest. So hopefully they get something that's resolved. And when did you first decide you wanted to maybe move back to England? Now? Uh. You know, I wasn't homesick because you know I can speak the language and it obviously is my it's my country. But I have two, I have a young family, I have two kids, and I miss them. You know, so and they wasn't there with me. So uh, yeah, it was around October, November time. And I decided to you know to try and come back to Europe or be as close as I could. You know, I didn't know I'd get a club as close to home as here. So I think I'm very grateful for that opportunity, and uh, I'm really happy. Yeah, and when did you first hear of Orient's interest and were there many other clubs in for you? Uh, you know, I speak to the boss most days, like even when I was out there. Just he was, I would ask him how he's going, getting on and he'd ask me how I'm getting on and we'd always be in contact because he was my assistant manager at Swindon, he was my he was with me at Tottenham. So, you know, we always been close, so uh, he's someone that I have a huge amount of respect for and he always said if the opportunity arises, then obviously we we both it'd be something that we both wanted to do. And with interest, yeah, I spoke to a couple of managers in in England, but I think with the boss here, you know, I know him in and out. He knows me in and out. He knows how to get the best out of me, and you know, I feel like I can help him in in that regard. So, I think he's a great fit for both of us. So, I'm really happy to be here. And it took you a few weeks, but you eventually got that first start away to Stevenage. It wasn't a bad way to make your debut, was it? Yeah, you know, it was. It, it was. It wasn't too hard because I wasn't really fit. I needed to get fit and. Uh, I was just working on just training hard every day and obviously trying to help Sarge with everything he needed so I think that was the mo most important thing you know but at the end of the day it doesn't matter if I'm playing or Sarge is playing it's a matter about we win it, us winning games and I think I come in we didn't really have much to do uh, it was a tough it was a, yeah it was a tough game they were fighting for their lives and we got an early goal and then we scored two goals early in the second half just to kill the game off and then we just saw it out which was pleasing you know to get a clean sheet as well I think that's the most, the most important thing
And you mentioned you're competing for that goalkeeper jersey with Sam Sargent. How important is it to have that tough competition? Yeah, no, it's good. You know, Sarge is a brilliant goalkeeper. He's young as well. He's, he's very, he loves coming into train every day. And I think I need that, you know, because, you know, I look at him and there's bits of his game that I want to learn. I want to learn of him. And I think there's bits of my game that he would want to learn so we can bounce off each other. And I think it's good, you know, we have a good, strong goalkeeping department. We both help each other. I think that's the most important thing. And finally, what are your goals for the rest of the season and beyond? Uh, just to enjoy it, you know, like I've come from South America where it's very unstable. You know, I was not with family, like with my immediate family, you know. So I think the most important for, thing for me is, you know, to enjoy my football, enjoy coming in every day, spend as much time with my family, you know, and then whatever happens on the pitch, it happens, you know, like I can't change it. Do you know what I mean? So I just, that's the most important thing for me, you know, just enjoying it because, you know, I only live 20 minutes away, so I'm not far away at all. So I think that's like, for me, that's a, it's a blessing. You know, I can see my kids after training every day. Thanks, Lawrence. That's no great. Worries. Thank you very much.